And that was the reason, you know, why I didn't go into academia once I realized that academic scientists by far and large are partial to, to their pet, you know, pet theories, pet, pet ideas, pet whatever. But that's only, you know, one facet of what tells, I think, amateur apart from scientists. A scientist would always remain in doubt. And once you are invested in a certain point, you are very uh, subjective about it. You want it to be true and you will be upset if it is not so. Let's say if you're an entrepreneur and you're making a claim that your widget does something miraculous, of course you want that claim to be true. If you're an academic, then, you know, your grants depend on, on the veracity of your claims. So you want to be correct or you will not get, you know, the next round of funding. But unfortunately, you know, this partiality to the outcome detracts from the truth. And that was the reason, you know, why I didn't go into academia once I realized that academic scientists by far and large are partial to, to their pet, you know, pet theories, pet, pet ideas, pet whatever.